Stampers Stamping Friends, it's Jackie from ClampinStampers.com and I just want to show you how to make this really fun vintage um, collage look. This is kind of a little bit different than what you normally see from me, but it does use the Timeless Textures background stamp. This is in the Occasions catalog and I have come to really love all the elements in here. But I just want to show you how fun and easy it is to make a background. So you'll notice I don't have the stickers on my stamps. I never put them on there. I feel they stick to the black a little bit better. So if you can see, this is the image. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what to call these pieces. You'll have to see when I stamp it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this around the, the bit outside edges of my card, but you'll notice what I'm going to do is stamp it a whole bunch of times. We're going to ink up and stamp, 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 and I'm moving a little to the left, a little to the right, a little up, a little down, and you can see how it, it's almost like a sponging look. Okay, and we're just going to keep turning. I think I got a little bit heavy on that, that first edge because I was talking too much. So we're just going to keep stamping. You know, the key is don't bring it back up and down the same place all the time. And by inking it several times, it gives, or stamping it several times without re-inking, it gives you all those nice shades in there. So there's our edge. And what we're going to do is just keep playing with some of these pieces. So we'll take this image. And um, quite often, I like to stamp everything a few times without re-inking because that'll give you some dimension in there. So we'll just kind of place those in the corners. And then let's see, let's play with some of the, the dots. This one is the soft suede ink. And why don't we just, and really kind of the whole goal, should do these a couple of times, is to, I guess, just fill it all in. Okay, what can we fill this all in with? Let's do a little bit of um, crushed curry in there. And then, oh, I love these. Um, just kind of splatter dots. Fill that up. And like I said, I'm seriously just um, grabbing different colors and um, just kind of filling it in. And it looks like a mess, to tell you the honest truth. And that's why this is so out of my element. But I have to show you the cards I made with it. I was so excited. I had so much fun. You can see there's my background. And I, with all of these, I just added a flower. Okay, I cut it out and we'll pop these up and it'll have a little bit of dimension in it. A couple of banners with some words on it and quite a few I put a doily. That's it, I think it's a very sharp um, card. This one I added a little bit of um, silver thread. Can you see that under there? But again, the doily, the flower, the banner with the words on. Um, this one, rather than a white background to start with, this was a tip top taupe, but again, basically the same thing. I'm just using all the different, I like to call them parts and pieces stamps to make your background. And it's that simple, even though it looks like such a mess. So I hope if you haven't done any collage stamping in a while, you'll give it a try. Um, I will post on my blog all the dimensions and more details on this card, but I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to make this kind of a background or a collage card. Have a great stampin' day.